Hi, welcome to Camixel Technologies YouTube channel and in this video we'll be having a look about DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. So what you see here is the DaVinci Resolve new DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor and it is customizedly designed for the cut page of DaVinci Resolve. Of course it works in edit page certain features and it also works in the color page for scrolling and moving and stuff to between the shots and the clips but it is completely designed for the cut page of Resolve. It's a next generation editing keyboard for a very much faster workflow. So let's see how that works. So this is the top panel. Here we have the smart editing features. Here you have the in and out trim functions, adding your transitions and dissolves. And here you have some of the basic functions of uh, going to view, uh, full view, transitions, editing, zipple, delete and all the stuff. And this part is for your shuttle uh, functions where you move through your footage between your source and the timeline. And here you have your, your multicam editing layout. So all these are the basic layouts of the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. And if you see it is a normal USB-C connectivity if you can see it. It is just normal USB-C connectivity and you just it, it also includes an USB-C cable with the packing so you don't need to worry about it and you can also use third party. So this keyboard doesn't work normally in other works inside uh, outside of Resolve. It works only inside of Resolve and it has an inbuilt uh, Bluetooth feature where you can connect it and you can use it remotely without any connection to the system so as of now i'm not connecting to it so to connect uh, to keep talking with the resolve editor and the software you need to go to the bluetooth on it first and you can see a davinci resolve keyboard it instantly connects with the davinci resolve as just like that as soon as you on your bluetooth if you have connected already otherwise you have to go to new devices and click it and it's always there so now you have connected, you can see the red lighting over here, so which means you have connected and where to find this DaVinci Resolve, where it is actually uh, showing that this is actually connected to the system. So to see that you need to go to the preference and you have a control panel where normally uh, DaVinci Resolve color grading panel is set out. You can have the speed editor over here and you can see the battery level. So basically I charged it, charged it for maybe two hours with the laptop and it is full 100%. So that is uh, the thing. So let's begin. So nothing too much to do here. So you just need to organize, bring in your footage and all the stuff inside the uh, cut page of Resolve or organize in media page and bring it over here. So there is two things over here, which is source and timeline. So for the people who doesn't uh, know about the cut page, here it is when you hit the source you can see all the contents in a one go you can see the entire range of clips which is available in that particular bin in one go so this makes us to scroll between the clips here you have the jog shuttle so I'm not going to use my mouse I have the jog shuttle I can scroll through the clips and on the left side in the bin area you can see on which actual clip I am working on or I am seeing towards it Let's say uh, this is my first clip and I like it. I can give an in point and out point. So I'm giving an in point and I can scroll a little bit and I'm going to keep it as an out point. So now if I want to do a precise trimming in and out, so I can hit trim in and I can do the in point editing where if I want to extend or contract and same for trim out where I need to extend and contract. So that is about the basic trimming editing. So you can press smart insert or append. So these are the intelligent edit tools. So when the moment you hit smart insert, it is automatically going to insert that particular clip inside your timeline. So as a next process, let me go to the timeline. Now if you scroll, again it is going to scroll in your source only. So it is your source here, it is going to see all your contents in the uh, uh, media bin. So if I hit timeline, now if I uh, use my jog and it is going to cut uh, work on my timeline as simple as that. So now we have three modes here for scrolling. So I, I have its source here. 
So this one is very precise. This jog is very precise. If you move, it is going to move uh, by frame by frame. Uh, there is an option called scroll. So when I hit scroll, it is going to move with the entire range of the clips. You can see in the left side bin, it is moving towards different clips. And if you see in the timeline also, we are just moving uh, like in a fast forward stuff. So wherever you want, you can put an in point and bring it here. So let's say this is uh, this here, here is where I want to put an in point. So you can change it to jog, then you can adjust your timing, hit an in point and move it forward a little bit. Let's say I want to keep it here and right before it drops in point and after it drops out point and then you can hit smart insert is going to go in between clips i want append so i'm hitting append here so it is automatically jumped into my timeline just like that so from here on you can automatically keep building the timeline let's say i'm going to the source uh, and if you see there is now uh, that particular clip is what you're seeing but a uh, lot of time if you hit source multiple times it's not going to work here is where your escape comes in so you can hit escape and you are back into all your clips so now you can use your scroll go wherever you want let's say I want to pick uh, this particular shot and jog in and hit the out and just append it so it is going to be here in the timeline you can hit the timeline and come back and forward so all this stuff you can do and the next part is shuttle so that is the first mode which you are available here so shuttle is nothing but you just need to fast forward or slow just like that so I'm hitting shuttle you can see the red light so if I just crawl it towards the right side it is going to go in 64x speed so I'm using the mouse to for you to uh, show you where that 64x lies and if you just move it in the opposite direction it is going to stop and if you move it slowly towards the back side it is going to go in a very slow motion it is still moving I'm not doing anything it is it is doing it in a very slower manner to see how precise or what slow motion shot that actually is so that is about shuttle and if you can move it then it is again going to go in 64x or in a fast forward mode so you can stop it by scrolling it in the opposite direction and you can hit jog and you have a stop and play button so normally it will play and pass the content let's say i want this content i can go in and out just append the clip so let's say I want to insert a clip in between uh, two clips. So I'm hitting timeline. Let's say I want to insert uh, in between these two clips. That is where our first smart insert comes in. You can see the smart indicator if you're new to the cut page of resolve. So you can go to the source and select whatever content you want. Let's say uh, I want this part of the content. So jog and hit the in point and go to the out point. And if you hit smart insert, it is going to insert in between these two clips so there is no need of uh, going precisely keeping that cut there and uh, doing all the stuff so it's very simple and append is going to take you to the end of the timeline it's very simple source and you can hit escape to come back to your uh, entire string of timeline you can use scroll to move between different shots let's say this is good so in and out and append it is always going to go to the end of the timeline and we have ripple override so ripple override will basically hitting the timeline and coming over here so it will remove this particular clip which we are actually placing a cursor and replace it with whatever in and out point we have given so i'll give you an example for our understanding purpose i'm just selecting this right clicking going to clip color and i'm going to change it to green so it is now green clip so i'm going to the source selecting my shot over here to get it replaced with let's say uh, okay this looks good I'm just keeping an in point and let's say up to this is fine out point so I'm going to just keep it you can see the duration is 10 seconds and it is going to replace just hit ripple override it will remove that particular shot you can see the green color clip is has gone and it has replaced with another shot whatever we have kept it so that's ripple override let's say I want an immediate close-up of the shot so I have this uh, fourth which is the second row of the intelligent edit modes when i hit close up it automatically creates a five second close up so you can scroll in the timeline and see so this is before and this is after close up 
So normally if you are shooting in 6K and 4K this should look good but as of now I am using a 720p so it looks a little bit pixelated but never mind. So another cool feature is you hold this and you use your jog shuttle which will bring your position up. So your Y position you can reassign or realign your shot however you want after hitting the close up. And this close up with an actual uh, human feature it will automatically use DaVinci Resolve Neural Engine and close up, uh, do a beautiful close up automatically. So that is one thing you need to know. And uh, place on top is basically a normal uh, function. Uh, we need to select one shot over here. Let's me, let me use the scroll. Let's say this is a good shot in and out. So in timeline, I need to uh, place, let's say I want a uh, place on top over here. So just hit place on top and you will be getting the clip at the top. So it depends on the time you have selected. Let's say if I want to undo, you have an escape button. You can just double click and undo the clip and you can come to the source viewer and you can see how much time you have given. For me, uh, let's say I want just uh, three seconds of shot is enough. So you can see in the top right corner, you can see how much you have given an in and out point. So you can keep place on top. Now we can see the uh, in and out over here. So let's say uh, you want this to be extended a little bit. So here is our uh, functions, editing, trimming functions over here. So you can hit trim out and you can start extending your timeline and trim in, you can start extending your uh, clip. So very simple and easy. So let's say if you uh, uh, just trim in and trim out is fine. But I want this shot to be up to this particular part. That's very simple. You can come over here and you can slip the source. Let's say uh, slipping the source and trim out and you will cross the border. So that's very simple. Just holding certain buttons and you will be able to do it. And roll is available. Uh, you can roll uh, the front. It's like trimming the front part and back part. It, if you keep it in a clip here. So you, you will be able to roll between the in and out points where you will be doing your edit feature and uh, let's say I'm going to roll it a little bit bigger and you have an amazing feature the transition features available here let's say I want a dissolve so I'm just applying a dissolve and it gets applied immediately you have a pass stop and play button so it's a beautiful dissolve let's say I want it in a, 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 a shorter duration so I'm going to click this trans duration just click this and just use your jog shuttle to adjust your duration of dissolve so just keeping it over here hit playback and you can see the transition has been changed let's say hey i don't like this uh, dissolve let's say i don't like this dissolve what i'm going to do you have a button over here which is called transition just click and hold you will get a menu of list use your basic uh, jog shuttle to select what color what type of transition you want let's say uh, I want a spiral and you get the spiral just like that very easy and simple uh, just moving forward in a very faster way so you have a snap button if you want your cursor to be snapped you can just double tap this or single tap this to get your cursor snapped otherwise it will be very uh, I mean it will be very smooth so normally snapping things is uh, a bit good. Let's say I want to split this clip. This is too much of long. I want to split this clip. So I can hit the split button over here. It will immediately cut the clip in between. And let's say I want to delete this portion. You have ripple delete. Just hit ripple delete and it will cut down the portion of the clip. And if you want to slip means uh, which part of the clip you want. Just like that. Uh, let's say if you want a 10 seconds before you can just move forward. And if you say if you want to slip the next clip you can select and you can see you are slipping the next clip of the cursor which you are ever in and you have seen transition duration and there is cut let's say if you are using a dissolve transition which uh, doesn't have uh, enough of the place to apply a dissolve transition let's say i'm going to increase the trim out of this particular clip let's say i'm going to increasing this and applying a dissolve transition and if you want to remove this transition, you can just hit cut, it is automatically removed. Uh, if you want to hit the result transition and you can just duration and let's say if you want to apply transition wherever you are going, just 
you can simply scroll and apply transition just like that uh, you don't need to worry about it and if you want to change it and if you want to hit the transition and change the wipe let's say vertical so it's really cool uh, to use it and uh, to more uh, let's say I want this shot this particular shot to be in the first of the place so I'm again uh, changing the color of this clip let's say it's going to be olive I want this shot to be over here I'm using the mouse to just identify so I have an option called split but if you click and hold you can see the option changes then you can use your wheel to bring it in the front just like that so that's uh, very simple and easy and you have source override which is basically for multicam protection and you have all these clips over here for multicam protection and video only audio only to import the video and audio so I have I will have a detailed video about this multicam editing features with the cut page of DaVinci Resolve speed editor so until then stay tuned and I'll be back with an exciting tutorial of the speed editor with all the multicam features enabled so Take care and bye.